Mohenjo Daro IPA, Muea Unregistered Trademark Na Plus or Minus DOD Unregistered Trademark E1 Half A, English Pronunciation, Slash Mua Shein Deloshi Doi Rush Slash. Is an archaeological site in the province of Sindh, Pakistan. Built around 2600 BCE, it was one of the largest settlements of the ancient Indus Valley civilization, as one of the world's earliest major urban settlements, contemporaneous with the civilizations of ancient Egypt, Mesopotamia, and Crete. Mohenjo Daro was abandoned in the 19th century BCE, and was not rediscovered until 1922. Significant excavation has since been conducted at the site of the city, which was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1980. The site is currently threatened by erosion and improper restoration. Name, Mohenjo Daro, the modern name for the site, simply means Mound of the Dead in Sindhi. The city's original name is unknown, but analysis of a Mohenjo Daro seal suggests a possible ancient Dravidian name, Kukkitama. Cockfighting may have had ritual and religious significance for the city, with domesticated chickens bred there for sacred purposes, rather than as a food source. Mohenjo Daro may have been a point of diffusion for the eventual worldwide domestication of chickens. Location Mohenjo Daro is located in the Larkana district of Sindh, Pakistan, on a plasticine ridge in the middle of the floodplain of the Indus River Valley, around 28 kilometers from the town of Larkana. The ridge was prominent during the time of the Indus Valley civilization, allowing the city to stand above the surrounding plain but the flooding of the river has since buried most of the ridge and deposited silt. The site occupies a central position between the Indus River and the Agahakra River. The Indus still flows to the east of the site, but the riverbed of the Agahakra on the western side is now dry. Historical context, Mohenjo Daro was built in the 26th century BCE. It was one of the largest cities of the ancient Indus Valley Civilization, also known as the Harappan Civilization which developed around 3000 BCE from the prehistoric Indus culture. At its height, the Indus civilization spanned much of what is now Pakistan and North India, extending westwards to the Iranian border, south to Gujarat in India and northwards to an outpost in Bactria, with major urban centers at Harappa, Mohenjo-daro, Lithil, Kalabangan, Dolavira and Rakhagari. Mohenjo-daro was the most advanced city of its time, with remarkably sophisticated civil engineering and urban planning. When the Indus civilization went into sudden decline around 1900 BCE, Mohenjo Daro was abandoned. Rediscovery and excavation, the ruins of the city remained undocumented for over 3,700 years, until their discovery in 1922 by Rakh Holders Bandyopatai, an officer of the Archaeological Survey of India. He was led to the mound by a Buddhist monk. Who reportedly believed it to be a stupa. In the 1930s, major excavations were conducted at the site under the leadership of John Marshall, D.K. Dikshtar, and Ernest Mackay. Further excavations were carried out in 1945 by Ahmad Hassan and Mortimer Wheeler. The last major series of excavations were conducted in 1964 and 1965 by Dr. George F. Dales. After 1965 excavations were banned due to weathering damage to the exposed structures, and the only projects allowed at the site since have been salvage excavations, surface surveys, and conservation projects. However, in the 1980s, German and Italian survey groups led by Dr. Michael Jensen and Dr. Maurizio Tissi used less invasive archaeological techniques, such as architectural documentation, surface surveys and localized probing, to gather further information about Mohenjo Daro. Architecture and Urban Infrastructure Mohenjo Daro has a planned layout based on a street grid of rectilinear buildings. Most were built of fired and mortared brick. Some incorporated sun-dried mud brick and wooden superstructures. Estimates of the area covered by the city range from 85 to 200 hectares, with a weak estimate of peak population at around 40,000. The sheer size of the city, and its provision of public buildings and facilities, suggests a high level of social organization. The city is divided into two parts, the so-called citadel and the lower city. The citadel a euro a mud brick mound around 12 meters high a euro is known to have supported public baths, 
a large residential structure designed to house about 5,000 citizens, and two large assembly halls. The city had a central marketplace, with a large central well. Individual households or groups of households obtained their water from smaller wells. Waste water was channeled to cover drains that lined the major streets. Some houses, presumably those of wealthier inhabitants, include rooms that appear to have been set aside for bathing, and one building had an underground furnace, possibly for heated bathing. Most houses had inner courtyards, with doors that opened onto side lanes. Some buildings had two stories. In 1950, Sir Mortimer Wheeler identified one large building in Monjo de Ro as a great granary. Certain wall divisions in its massive wooden superstructure appeared to be grain storage bays, complete with their ducts to dry the grain. According to Wheeler, carts would have brought grain from the countryside and unloaded them directly into the bays. However, Jonathan Mark Kenoya noted the complete lack of evidence for grain at the granary, which, he argued, might therefore be better termed a great hall of uncertain function. Close to the great granary is a large and elaborate public bath, sometimes called the Great Bath. From a colonnaded courtyard, steps lead down to the brick-built pool, which was waterproofed by a lining of bitumen. The pool measures 12 meters long, 7 meters wide and 2.4 meters deep. It may have been used for religious purification. Other large buildings include a pillared hall, thought to be an assembly hall of some kind, and the so-called College Hall, a complex of buildings comprising 78 rooms, thought to have been a priestly residence. Moenjo Doro had no series of city walls, but was fortified with guard towers to the west of the main settlement, and defensive fortifications to the south. Considering these fortifications and the structure of other major Indus Valley cities like Harappa, it is postulated that Mohenjo Duro was an administrative center. Both Harappa and Mohenjo Duro share relatively the same architectural layout, and were generally not heavily fortified like other Indus Valley sites. It is obvious from the identical city layouts of all Indus sites that there was some kind of political or administrative centrality but the extent and functioning of an administrative center remains unclear. Mohenjo Duro was successively destroyed and rebuilt at least seven times. Each time, the new cities were built directly on top of the old ones. Flooding by the Indus is thought to have been the cause of destruction. Notable artifacts, numerous objects found in excavations include seated and standing figures, copper and stone tools, carved seals, balance scales and weights, gold and jasper jewelry, and children's toys. Dancing Girl A bronze statuette dubbed the Dancing Girl, 10.5 cm high and some 4,500 years old, was found in H.R. area of Mohenjo-Daro in 1926. In 1973, British archaeologist Mortimer Wheeler described the item as his favorite statuette. She's about 15 years old I should think, not more but she stands there with bangles all the way up her arm and nothing else on. A girl perfectly, for the moment, perfectly confident of herself and the world. There's nothing like her, I think, in the world. John Marshall, another archaeologist at Mohenjo Daro, described the figure as a young girl, her hand on her hip in a half-impudent posture, and legs slightly forward as she beats time to the music with her legs and feet. The archaeologist Gregory Possiel said of the statuette, We may not be certain that she was a dancer, but she was good at what she did and she knew it. The statue led to two important discoveries about the civilization, first, that they knew metal blending, casting and other sophisticated methods of working with ore, and secondly that entertainment, especially dance, was part of the culture. Priest King In 1927, a seated male soapstone figure was found in a building with unusually ornamental brickwork and a wall niche. Though there is no evidence that priests or monarchs ruled Mohenjo Daro, archaeologists dubbed this dignified figure a priest king. The sculpture is 17.5 cm tall and depicts a bearded man with a fillet around his head, an armband, and a cloak decorated with trefoil patterns that were originally filled with red pigment. The two ends of the fillet fall along the back. The hair is carefully combed towards the back of the head but no bun is present. The flat back of the head may have held a separately carved bun, 
or it could have held a more elaborate horn and plumed headdress. Two holes beneath the highly stylized ears suggest that a necklace or other head ornament was attached to the sculpture. The left shoulder is covered with a cloak decorated with trefoil, double circle and single circle designs that were originally filled with red pigment. Drill holes in the center of each circle indicate they were made with a specialized drill and then touched up with a chisel. The eyes are deeply incised and may have held inlay. The upper lip is shaved, and a short combed beard frames the face. Pashupati seal. A seal discovered at the site bears the image of a seated, cross-legged and possibly a thipalic figure surrounded by animals. A figure has been interpreted by some scholars as a yogi, and by others as a three-headed proto-shiva as lord of animals. Seven-stranded Moenjo Daro necklace, Mortima Wheeler held a special fascination for this artifact and believed the necklace was at least 4,500 years old. The necklace has an S-shaped clasp with seven strands, each over four feet long, of bronze metal bead-like nuggets connecting each arm of the A Euro OE Zar Euro in filigree. Each bead is less than the size of a pepper seed and has many facets. Each strand is between 220 to 230 nuggets and there are about 1600 nuggets in total. The necklace weighs about 250 grams. It is presently in a private collection in India possibly in Shimla. Conservation and current state. Preservation work for Mohanjo Duru was suspended in December 1996 after funding from the Pakistani government and international organizations stopped. Site conservation work resumed in April 1997, using funds made available by the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. The 20 year funding plan provided $10 million to protect the site and standing structures from flooding. In 2011, responsibility for the preservation of the site was transferred to the government of Sindh. Currently, the site is threatened by groundwater salinity and improper restoration. Many walls have already collapsed, while others are crumbling from the ground up. In 2012, Pakistani archaeologists warned that, without improved conservation measures, the site could disappear by 2030. Sindh Festival, Mohanjo Daro's traditions were threatened in January 2014, when Bilawal Bhutto Zardari chose the site for Sindh Festival's inauguration ceremony. By doing so, the People's Party government exposed the site to mechanical operations, including excavation and drilling. Archaeologists warned against the proceedings with Fats and Mauzi, head of the Department of Archaeology at Punjab University said such activity was banned under the Antiquity Act. A Euro OE you cannot even hammer a nail at an archaeological city a Euro, he stated. On January 31, 2014, a case was filed in Sindh High Court to bar the Sindh government from continuing with the event plan. See also, Shan Hudaro, List of UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Pakistan, Muga, List of Forts in Pakistan, List of Museums in Pakistan, References. External links, UNESCO World Heritage Sites, Harappa.com, Harappa Geography. Archaeology.about.com, History World, Civilizations in Pakistan, Mohanjo Duro Lifestyle, Archaeological Ruins of Mohanjo Duro on Global Heritage Network.